Most people think that charting an interactive brokers is this painful task, but I'm gonna show you in some easy steps here how to draw trend lines, channels, Fibonacci's in a few clicks to make it super easy and passive for you. To draw a simple trend line, you click here up in the edit button up here. That's the old school way to go down there and click on these annotations for different lines. We don't wanna do that because we make this quick and easy for you. So we wanna do it the new school, the super simple way. Right click on the chart anywhere you wanna be, just back into action right here, edit the chart, boom, add horizontal trend line. You can see here, as I do this, you're gonna have a number in the middle there, scrolling down with you as you change your price level, the number is gonna target in there as well. I'm gonna put this down in a major support area down here at the bottom and you can have your line in there locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's say this was a super major area of support. You wanna change this line up. You can click and redrag it. Just make sure you're clicking on it. When it turns blue, left click and drag it around. You can still do that, reposition it. And if you wanna change the thickness of it, right click on that line, change trend line color. Let's do that first. Display color, let's make this nice pop, pop in pink. And let's go like that. And then we're gonna change the thickness of it as well. Right click, trend line thickness, make it four. For a key level, you wanna bump it up a little bit. And then another thing is you can take this and you can go right click and just do create parallel, select the trend line, make another copy of it, boom, boom, carbon copy, put yourself into a little range right there. Same thickness, same color, you wanna change it up again. You right click it, you wanna change the color up, put this at the top, let's make this yellow, yellow and pink baby, we're gonna get after it right there. And now you have your nice channel and your trend lines drawn in there in a couple clicks. To clear these babies off the screen, right click on the screen. You can remove selected trend lines if you want to by actually clicking and erasing them, or you can go remove all trend lines. That's going to take everything off and wipe your screen clean right from the get-go. Now, what if you want to do some diagonal or diagonally, diagonally, some Harry Potter reference there for you, trend lines. You want to just left-click anywhere on the trend line, check and drag, and pull that baby wherever you want it to go. Let's say we want to take it away over here, but we want to make sure that we can see it. After we put it into practice, you'll notice here too that there aren't any numbers on this. It's a percentage trend line. If you wanted to extend this over, and make it go off the page. You can actually see where it kind of projects in the future. You can do this by editing this little margin area of the chart and give yourself a little bit of gap over here. This little arrow down the right-hand corner, click and drag this over. You're gonna give yourself a little bit of margin. If we click this in trend line, we can move it around. We can take it and move the end of it and extend it out in time. And now we have a little bit of extra room to see where the stock is gonna go. If you wanna extend it a little bit further, you can do that as well. Just click and drag that line again. If you don't have this little Jimmy here at the bottom and you wanna turn it on, if you're not showing it, you can go up to the chart Click on the gear icon in the settings up here and just turn on margin area right here. Turn it on, turn it off. You'll be able to kind of then see this. You'll see it kind of disappear over here and it's gone now. If you turn it on, you can then go ahead and put your margin area back on. And I'll give you this little option to turn the margin on and off like that. But let's say that we have a trend line right here. We want to make a parallel trend line or a channel. We have this trend right here. We say that it's in this kind of range right here. We're going to take this and duplicate it. We would first not do that. We want to go ahead and just take that one off. And we're going to take this trend line we had before. We want to right click on it. We want to again create a parallel. We're going to position that right here and say, okay, now we've got a parallel vertical kind of trend line showing where the stock is kind of trading in between. Again, you can do the same thing with these ones as you did before. You can uh, change the trend line colors, like this guy, baby blue. And we can do this down here as well. Same thing. We can also look to change the color here, make this one different, green. We're also going to make the thickness of this one a little bit different. Make sure you have to make sure you have to highlight it and it'll, it'll change color when you get on it. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to edit the trend line. It's gonna make it new trend line, which is I think what people struggle with the most. Make the thickness four. It's when you're trying to get on these trend lines, and if you don't click on them right away, you end up doing this and drawing a new trend line. But again, you can right click and you can remove select the trend line, just erase it with your little eraser tool. It's just a little bit finicky sometimes to get there, but make sure it turns blue when you're editing it. I like to beef up the trend line thicknesses because they're easy to tick off and easy to use them. So that's vertical and that's diagonal trend line. There's one more I want to show you right here, and it is the Fibonacci sequences, which a lot of traders use for retracement levels and seeing where the stock may go. So we're going to right click, remove all trend lines real quick. Again, this is super easy, super basic stuff. You're doing a couple quick clicks to get your start set up the way you want to. So let's set up a Fibonacci. We're going to right click right here, boom, add Fibonacci line. And we're going to take it from down here and move it up to the up channel here and our kind of area of low end support and then resistance right there at the top. And that's going to spread out your Fibonacci lines for potential retracement ideas. And when you put these on their chart, right, you can see these different levels in here. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can see the numbers kind of update and stay the same. You can't change these lines per se, but you can look and see if the stock is consolidating around certain areas of these major retracement levels, like right here, again, right here, you can see them kind of bouncing off these retracement levels. Do the Fibonacci's. If you want to go from a negative perspective, turn it all off. Let's go right click, Fibonacci's, okay, from the top end. And we're going to go down this time down to the bottom here for a lower channel, if we're moving lower, and our Fibonacci's are now in place here after this decline to see where the stock may or may not get to 
these different support levels moving back upwards now, it could be looking to bounce off these heads lower again. Those are the basic things you need to do to understand how to chart and interact with brokers. If you want to learn how to save this chart as a template and then use it in the future without having to redo everything that you just did, candlesticks, Fibonacci's, lines, moving averages, indicators, all that good stuff, subscribe to the channel, check out this video right here.